Good morning, students of class 9. You are welcome back to the e-classes now. Let us continue our lesson in, in geography. So, we are doing lesson 5, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. Now, here, in our previous class, we have learned about uh, the soil. And now, today, we will talk about uh, uh, today we will talk about relief the soil. So now here natural vegetation and wildlife. There are various components, various factors that determine the vegetation and wildlife of an area. So first one is relief, and this is the second portion, soil we are doing. The soil also vary over space and area. The soil of an area is different from the soil of another area. So the soil also varies from one area to another area. Different types of soils, various types of soils such as alluvial soil, laterite soil, red soil, black soil, sandy soil, mountainous soil. So in this type, so th these different types of soils provide basis for different types of vegetation. According to that, in simple words, we can say that according to the soil, the plant or the vegetation varies. So, certain soils are suitable for certain kinds of plants and certain soils are not suitable for certain uh, kinds of plants. So, the plants and uh, its characteristics or its uh, height or its uh, you can say um, the fruits everything depends on the soil so different types of soil provide basis for different types of vegetation basis means to categorize different types of plants are categorized according to the soil the soil helps us to categorize plants in different groups or in different uh, plants that are grown in different areas so, number two, the sandy soil of the desert, in the desert areas or arid areas, semi-arid areas, there is no water, very little water. So, the sandy soil of the desert support cactus and thorny bushes. So, there, these plants have different characteristics, their roots are very long, they go very deep inside the soil in search of water. In this way, other plants cannot survive in these desert areas. So you can see that certain plants have certain characteristics that suits the soil of that area. So the sandy soil of the desert support cactus and thorny bushes. Number three, while wet and marshy lands, marshy means swamps, where the water and the soil, the concentration of the soil and the water is equal. That's called swampy or marshy. While the wet and marshy and deltic, near the deltas, deltic soils support mangroves, mangrove forest. These mangrove forests, their roots are above the water so that they can survive. When there is excess water, most of the plants, they, they die, they do not survive. But mangrove plants, they are suitable for this type of soil, swampy soil or deltic or wet soils. So now the hilly areas or the hill, hilly slopes of the Himalayas or in the western ghats or in the hilly areas in the plateau region, the hilly slopes with some depth of soil. In hilly area the soil, the layer of the soil is very thin because it is slow, most of the soil gets washed away. So in some area there is certain depth of soil. There in this type of some depth of soil in the hilly areas, they have conical trees. The trees having a cone shaped. Conical trees such as pine trees, cedar and fir trees, silver fir and these are deodar. These are the trees that are found in hill slopes where the depth of the soil is little more. So there. So these are mountainous soils quite sandy also. So that is according to the soil, plants are grown and plants grow in such soils. It, the, the plants, they require certain uh, types of soil in order to grow. 
you cannot grow plants in all kinds of soil. So, number B, we'll talk about climate. Climate also has been divided into various uh, sub um, titles, temperature, precipitations, uh, as well as uh, photo period we have learned about uh, in our previous class. So climate first, we'll talk about temperature. The temperature also affects the plants. The higher you go in the mountain areas where the temperature is getting lower and lower and lower, the plants, they do not grow very tall. They grow, they have stunt growth. So they are not very bushy. So they, they take a long time to grow. So the climate also affects the, temp, uh, the type of vegetation. So the character and extent. Character means quality and the extent means whether the plants grow in a dense, uh, densely character. Character means whether they are tall, stout or sturdy or stunt growth. The character and the extent of vegetation are mainly, extent means whether they grow densely or thinly. Extent of vegetation are mainly determined by temperature. The temperature also determine the character of a plant or the extent of plant. Temperature along with humidity, rainfall and soil. Not only temperature, the plant is affected by various factors such as temperature, soil, rainfall, precipitations. In the hills, in the hills, let me close the door. In the hilly areas, let's talk about, in the, in the hills or in the mountainous areas, in the hills above 915 meters from the sea level, as you go up the hill and 950 meters above the flat plains, the fall in temperature, the temperature falls. As you go higher and higher, the, temp the temperature reduces or falls. So it will affect the type of vegetation. As you go, as you climb the mountain, you will see certain kind of plants at certain areas. And as you go higher, you will not find these plants. You will find different types of plants. So it will affect the type of vegetation and its growth. Growth means at the lower elevation, you will have dense forest, dense evergreen forest. As you grow there, you will find temperate. Then as you go far out, higher up, you will find coniferous. Then you will find grasslands. And after grassland, you will find snow line and then you won't, get, you won't find any plants there. It doesn't grow. At the last, you will grow, it, it grows just below the snow line, you will find lichens. Then below the lichens, you will find grasses, meadows, grasslands. And after that, again, you will find coniferous trees. Then after that is a temperate forest, then tropical forest. In this way, you will find a layer. In the hilly areas, you, will see, you can see the layer. Different category uh, groups or the plants are categorized in a different way. So according to the temperature, and the soil, rainfall, humidity, photoperiod, all these affect the plants, the vegetation. And according to the vegetation, the wildlife also survive there. So in the hilly, hilly areas above 915 meters above the sea level, the temperature starts going down or the temperature lowers. It starts reducing the fall in temperature. And according to that, you will find certain type of vegetation. As you go higher, again, you will find another type of vegetation. And it's like a layer. So the, this clearly shows that temperature also affects the vegetation, the character and the extent, the quality and extent, whether they grow in thick, thickly or thinly. It depends. In the higher altitudes, you will find very thin forest. And the trees are not very tall. It will take a long time to grow and grow tall. Practically, they do not grow tall. 
they have a stunt growth so in this way as you come down you will find you will you will have uh, extend thick dense forest as you go lower and lower lower the hill below the hills at the foothills you will find dense forest tall trees and dense forest so character and extent is also determined by the temperature that's all for today thank you for your presence and your attendance we'll meet in the next class and continue our lesson so that's all for today thank you very much